Well, we've got possibly the most dangerous animal out of the water in Africa, a hippopotamus. And you can see this boy has had a few wounds and battles over his day. And it's quite an old scar on his bum. It's quite cute, actually. Like a little pink, pink spot. And on his shoulder, though, where that oxpecker is, there's actually a, a, a relatively fresh wound that, his, uh, that the oxpeckers are keeping open. And now, up cool. And now it's quite a cool morning. We had quite a lot of rain last night. So it looks like this gentleman is taking advantage to get a, a few extra mouthfuls of grass before heading back to the Mara River. Or not even possibly back to the river. You might stop in one of the little puddles or luggers that inundate the Mara. And isn't that just an absolutely spectacular scene? You can see all the, the Balanites trees in the distance. And it's where the Mara gets its name from. So I know a lot of you would know this already. But Mara basically means speckled or dotted in the Maasai language. And uh, it is from the single trees that dot the Mara in the distance there that it gets its name. Well played, well played. Um, and the hippo, hippo is a hipster with its tattoo on its bottom. Indeed it is. Um, I wonder if it's, well it is, a, it is a vegan, it's a vegan, so it's definitely a hipster. Although certainly hippos break the mold with that, is they have been seen eating carrion quite, quite regularly. And if they do find rotting flesh around, they might eat it, but only if the other hipsters aren't looking. I think that poor hippo went through a lot more pain <laughs> to get that tattoo than the average hipster. Although the average hipster probably thinks uh, he went through a lot of pain to get his tattoo. Oh, quickly across to Taylor with an Ellie looking for some food.